Wake up! Come on, Arthur! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! I don't know, but we are getting off of this boat! You come on! Would you get a move on, you sleepy bastard? Please, Lord, hey, I'll be right behind you. Jesus. What's going on? He says all fine. What now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Uh, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. And we're live. Welcome back to part 67 of the full game commentary and playthrough. We had to take some time off to get over the shocking deaths of both Hosea and Lenny, two of Arthur's favorite gang members. However, we are back and need to leave the city as soon as possible. No worries, Dutch has a plan. I'm your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Okay, follow me, and keep your heads down. We need to avoid a bunch of guards. Not a big deal. Just follow Dutch. Trust Dutch. To quote Molly, you have to. Guards up ahead. What now? Just wait a second. You said it to Mavis. The rats will have to come out of their holes eventually. Should have had them in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Melvin's got men on every street. Looks like they've stopped. We'll go through the train, Arthur. Come on, rest you. Follow when it's clear. <laughs> on the trolley with Dutch. Always a recipe for success. Someone's coming. Duck. Hey! I already checked the trains. You did? No more than a quarter hour ago. Are you sure? Sure. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. And now we need to create a distraction while remaining hidden. We'll be fine. Just pay attention to the map. Jenkins, is that you? Hello? Did someone whistle out here? Everyone stay down. Keep quiet. Okay, time to get back to Dutch. Spencer's 
See them? Sure. What you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah, let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently, so when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Oh, I like it. Real brave. I love this. Look at Charles just walking up to them like a boss. Good evening, gentlemen. Routine dock inspection. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me! Buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most beautiful Come acts I ever saw. Come on. Charles will be fine. Let's get on that boat. We got some gold, I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. Arthur is not going to let go of Tahiti, and nor should he. It is a ridiculous plan. A sweet dream, however Canada, Mexico, or even South America seems far more realistic. John, Lenny, Jose, that wasn't good. I know. So what are we going to do now? Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence. And find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir! Hey, quiet! Forgive me! A stowaway! Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace! <sighs> Well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella, a New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. And note the ship's name, Antinor. In Greek mythology, to quote Wikipedia, Antenor was the counselor to King Priam of Troy during the events of the Trojan War. Let's break that down. The siege of Troy, as you probably know, was broken by the Trojan horse. Beware of Greeks bearing gifts. How does this apply to us? Perhaps Dutch is King Priam, Hosea was Antenor, and Micah brought a whole lot of Trojan horses with him when he joined the gang, and the Trojan horses were filled with Pinkertons, not the Greek army. This is merely speculation on my part, certainly not canon, and your results may vary. Also interestingly, Antinor was a popular name for ships in 1899. There have been five ships named Antinor, starting in 1872, all the way to a hundred years later, in 1972. What are we going to do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our family. At least we got some money now. Money and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? Colonel Waxman, referring to in-game President Thaddeus Waxman, based on Theodore Roosevelt. I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you. Dumb Micah is no sailor. Thanks, Micah. Wake up! Wake up! Come on, Arthur! Wake up! 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 Wake up!
wake up! Wake up! Wake up! I don't know, but we are getting off of this boat! You come on! <laughs> Would you get a move on, you sleepy bastard? Please, Lord, hey, I'll be right behind you. This is a long cutscene, but it's fun, very exciting, very cinematic. Really glad John wasn't on this boat. We would never have made it to Red Dead 1. <laughs> and welcome to Guarma. We will not be enjoying our stay. Look at how sunburnt poor Arthur is without his hat. We will have to pick up a hat somewhere. But hey, good news. That's sarcasm. We made it to chapter 5. <laughs> Arthur will take a moment to post for the thumbnail in the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow. In addition to links for the merch store, my second channel, which features more podcast-related content, and our Discord. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. Arthur needs to get walking. We have no weapons, no supplies, and most important, no hat. Also, no horse. All of the things I love about this game are taken away in Guarma. I'll see you in part 68. This video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2 my second channel that features more podcast-related content, in addition to gameplay from all of the other video games I enjoy. You can find the link at the bottom of the channel page or in the description of this video. Like and subscribe for short stories, book, movie, and TV reviews, and also commentaries where I talk about whatever is interesting me at the moment. Super Antonio, thanks for watching. I
appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. We're living, Hosea, we're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you.